So if you don't know who Vosh is, he's basically like the number one left wing bread tuber on the Internet, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he's a communist or whatever. But he has had some very kind of suspicious and weird and frankly disgusting takes when it comes to things like pedophilia and child porn, which shouldn't be surprising for literally anyone who's on the left remotely. But um, we actually we found a clip this week regarding Vosh that, uh, you know, side by side, you put them together. It's actually quite incriminating. And we're going to be talking about that in a little bit. But first, First, before I show this, I want to give context of why the whole Vosh child porn question has been uh, so controversial. I believe this was about last year. Vosh said something regarding child porn that blew the internet up. So this is kind of who Vosh is on the question of child porn, okay? Should consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. So you got what he said? Okay, so this is a guy who does believe that child pornography, or at least the possession of child pornography, or the consumption of child pornography, should be legal, okay? Still don't care. I still think that, like, um, zoophile porn, like, drawn stuff, it should be 100% legal. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Let me just say, when you watch these clips, before we get into the main thing tonight, it, it shouldn't be surprising that, let, let's just say, it, there seems to be indication that he does have something of a, a, a liking or whatever for child porn or things like child porn, because there, there's all, the truth is always somewhere in between, and sometimes the truth is like all the way onto that side where, you know, if he's kind of taking the stand on this, it, you kind of have to ask the question, like, why is that? Like, what is his relationship to these things? Now, Vosh knows that, even his take on the whole CP question is uh, is not popular yet at the moment among his his community. Okay, which I'm gonna just tell you, it's only a matter of time before it does become that. Because, like I said, like we outlined, this is what happens when you allow sexual anarchy. It doesn't move toward a, a state of more stability. It's gonna inevitably, never keep leading to more and more chaos. Maybe you know until the point where God is just like, that's it, end times, you know, <laughs> this is ridiculous. But anyways, Vosh knows for like his own optics purposes that it's not super popular in his own community yet. In this clip, you'll see, and I believe this is a rather recent clip, he tries to run from, he tries to kind of like, I don't know, moderate his stance on it a little bit and kind of like actually be sort of uh, condemning of pedophilia and CP or whatever. The issue is, in comparison to something he said in the past, his attempt to de-incriminate himself actually incriminates himself more. And uh, we'll show you guys that there in a second. So here we go. Okay. Next question. Simulated uh, child porn lolly, lolly stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty sussy. What does that mean? I think that if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourself as to why, you know. You should. You should. Vosh. <laughs> this guy asked him, what, what is your take on simulated CP, right? Like uh, cartoons or whatever. And check out what he says. He says that's rather sussy. And he does admit a person who watches that does so because they're like basically a pedophile. And you'll see that's his take on this right here. Okay. Like uh, the, the thing that really bothers me about this shit, apart from the fact that anytime you want to look at like hentai on a hentai site, you have to like negate the tag lolly and thus 50% of the site's content. The thing that bothers yeah. me is people who pretend there's no relationship whatsoever between like drawn lolly shit and actual attraction to children. There's, of course there's a relationship between those things. Like, it's ridiculous to pretend otherwise. Okay, so did you get that? I may be clear, I don't know what lolly is, okay? I'm implying from what he said there that that's basically what he said that it, that is, okay? I, I, I don't know exactly what that is. I, I know it's wicked. I know it's uh, I know it's quite disgusting. I know it should be illegal, but I don't know exactly what it is. But according to Vosh, it sounds like anime hentai or whatever that's supposed to simulate children, right? And he's given the correct take. That's the correct take, which is if you enjoy that stuff, it's not that there's like no connection between that and what you actually think. People who watch animated porn or whatever watch it because they're like getting the thrill of it simulating real porn or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's a pretty obvious take. Anyone who likes cartoon stuff has some type of yearning inside for that stuff in real life, too. That's how it goes. So, again, Vosh has established that lolly, whatever that is, is pedophilia. And basically, people who watch it enjoy it are pedophiles. So that's what he said recently. Cue the next clip. We've all jerked at the lolly at some point or another. We've all... Well, you don't have a penis. We have all... That's... 
we have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site and we've been fucking stro <clears throat> stroking as hard and fast as we can and then after we nut we go back look over our history chat and we go like oh jeez oh boy some of these girls looked pretty young okay i don't give a fuck curious curious okay um <laughs> like I, I I don't even know what to say. First of all, it's not true that all of us have done that. Vosh is kind of coping on that one, is he not? That is a cope. You know, we've all done it. No, 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 no. I think you're actually just spiritually ill, which is true. That's probably the nicest, but at the same time, maybe meanest thing I can say about Vosh. I mean, he is spiritually unwell. He is spiritually ill. You you can tell. You can tell. And, uh, you know, we, we will be praying for him and we'll be praying for his soul. But, uh, Vosh, I mean, <laughs> you, uh, you guys, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta remember what you kind of said on this stuff. So it's, it's very interesting. This old clip right here, he said this, he admits it. I don't think he's being ironic, by the way. I know someone's probably going to say like, he's probably just joking. He was clearly trying to be funny. I think it's pretty obvious watching him and knowing who he is that uh, that 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 there's definitely truth in that. Thank you very much for watching that epic clip. And it was absolutely epic, wasn't it? Well, now you have a job to do. OK, if you did enjoy it and you want to support, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe to this channel and be sure to subscribe to our main channel. Yeah, we have a main channel where we do these full live streams and regular videos, lots of different content. The main channel is just called Vince Dow. That's kind of intuitive, right? This is Vince Dow Clips. Let's go subscribe to Vince Dow. The link to both should be on the screen and in the description or whatever. It's all over the place, okay? So go and subscribe to Vince Dow and subscribe to this channel. If you don't, let me just say Joe Brandon's going to be very happy. Okay, that's what I'll say. So go do it. God bless. Peace.